This is completely auditory, ordinary sound with two different tones, one in each ear. <clears throat> so it is a binaural device, but it's also uh, a bit more. They will tune the activator frequency until they feel a slight stimulation of that anxiety. And so we found a frequency that helps to stimulate that circuit. And interestingly, by the way, how does sound stimulate a neural circuit? Well, it's converted into electrical signals within the auditory canal. And we know there's actually two routes that, that, that those signals take. One is to the auditory thalamus, conscious evaluation of a sound. So you hear you know, a rustling in the bush over there. And you go, what is that? You consciously evaluate it. But the other is unconscious. The, every sound we hear passes through the limbic system and is evaluated by the I'm sorry, amygdala, which is the sentinel organ that, uh, designed to perceive threat and create a fight or flight response. We know that because we could be sitting here and someone could throw a firecracker behind us and we would duck before we knew it was happening. Uh, the same is true of physical sensation. If we placed our hand on a hot stove, we'd pull it back before we realized and could consciously think it was hot because that's an instinctive self-preservation self response. So we know there's a direct line from the auditory canal to the amygdala, and that's what we're piggybacking on. This is a theoretical, but at this point, we've seen such dramatic change in the amygdala. We know we have a direct.